Well, first and foremost, all these journalists who were living there, right now they're back home and apparently they're safe. But there was a rather unpleasant incident that, well, they had to go through. And at first, what happened? An unknown individual threw a bottle, breaking one of the windows. And initially, it wasn't really clear what was that. Was that an attempted attack with a Molotov cocktail or was it just a stray bottle or some drunk maybe picked up uh, off the street? But then when uh, more with law enforcement arrived, they discovered an uh, interesting device, an unknown device, which later turned out to be, uh, well, explosive, pro probably an IED. So this is what they discovered in the apartment, all these wires. And again, as you mentioned, they discovered that it was armed with something, with something explosive. So again, it is not clear as to who uh, put it there. It is not clear who the culprit is. It is not even clear as to what sort of an uh, explosive uh, substance was used there. But uh, again, this is this is very this is very concerning because this building uh, it's a building that was specifically allocated to house Russian journalists, both with Ria Novosti and, for example, uh, a head of the Sputnik Germany. Sputnik being another Russian uh, news agency and a big radio like network worldwide network. So it does look like this building was specifically targeted because it only housed again Russian journalists. Nobody else lived there so it was allocated for those purposes and uh, given the fact that uh, shortly before this incident shortly before this attack uh, a report reporters of the of the German Spiegel uh, journal Spiegel magazine they uh, kind of doxed people they uh, released a report they published a report uh, saying that this is where Russian propagandists live and again there's no connection uh, there's no direct connection that can be be, you know, established between the two incidents. But again, this is very concerning. It certainly seems concerning that anyone can ascertain where reporters live from this report. Well, absolutely. And given that no Russian citizen, let alone journalist, especially working for a state-funded uh, news agency, uh, no one can feel safe in Europe right now when it comes to a being a Russian citizen, Russian local. Uh, so uh, there has been a tremendous pressure applied to Russian media workers all across Europe, in Germany as well. For example, we have a sister channel. I mean, RT, RT International has a sister channel, RT Deutschland. And from the very get-go, uh, journalists and the very, um, well, well, entity was pressured by the German government. They were taken off air. Uh, our RT uh, press service argues that it was done illegally. Even uh, uh, RT journalists, IT Deutschland uh, journalists, their uh, bank accounts were frozen. So, like, there was a tremendous pressure applied already. And now, like... Other Russian-based and Rus you know Russian journalists are getting flagged for essentially just working for Moscow-based outlets. So this is very concerning, especially if the German police manages to establish a well a significant link between the attack and the fact that they had been doxed.